Honey, are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready. I don't know if you're ready for it. I have my Diet Soda shirt on for today. I'm yes. not ready. Well, guys, welcome back to Eating Our Best Life. I'm Mike. And I'm Lauren. And we have another episode here for you guys. And today, it's going to be another takeout edition. And honey, do you know exactly where we're going? Because I wanted to surprise you. Because I know that back in the day when we used to date in college, one of your favorite restaurants was this restaurant. Oh my god, that's kind of embarrassing. But it's true. <laughs> it is a local chain restaurant. It's not, it's, I thought they were national. Oh, it is national. Sorry. It's just also in our town, but it is national chain. Yes. And it is. We are going to Hula Hands. Well, actually, Hula Hands is coming to us. I'm pretty much thinking that we should order pretty much almost every appetizer on the menu. I'm a big fan of a couple of their desserts as well. And it looks like Mosey is a fan Mosey as well, too. guys. So we're Come definitely on. about to have a situation. Honey, let's get to the ordering. Do you have the I app have ready? DoorDash ready. All right, let's get so to it. So we have the whole Hula Hands menu right here. Let's so get what to do you want to do? I definitely want to do my all-time favorite, which... Let's just go to um, popular items. Okay. I'm thinking right off the bat when I see this right here, I'm thinking definitely we should definitely go for the wings. I wings. mean, if you go to like a cheesecake or you yeah, go to you a place like wings. that, you need to get the wings to check out the wings. Okay. Also, you I'll have, add that. you have to get the chicken finger platter. You cannot forget French fries, guys. French flies. Whatever, French <laughs> fries, okay? Chicken uh, fingers and fries. Wow, and as you can see, my wife loves to make fun of her husband, and that's okay, guys, because that right there is my best friend. Mm. And we're also gonna have to get the shroomers, the stuffed oh, like shrooms, the shrooms, which I know that you love, and uh, I'm a big fan of those. Uh, some mozzarella sticks. Should we do it? What? Mozzarella sticks. I'll definitely get mozzarella sticks. And also, um, I'm thinking that we should go into uh, go back into this category right here, which is the uh, appetizers. appetizers. And we're gonna go with the calamari, uh, which is oh. I heard it's pretty good over there. Okay. Also, we're gonna go with the spinach dip with the cheesy. I think it's lavouche. Cheesy lavouche. That is my favorite item from Hula Hands. Exactly. Like I will straight up order Hula Hands just to get this dip. I'm also thinking that we should get some sort of nachos or something like that. Um, the spinach chip with the tortilla chips. You can't go wrong with a good spinach chip. All right. I'm also thinking um, we got the mozzarella sticks. May You know what? We had burgers because my birthday was on 4th of July, so we had some really good burgers. I don't know if we should order the burgers here. No offense, Hula Hands. We just had some awesome burgers from Butcher Block. And let's go to get some sandwiches. A sandwich. I'm going to go with, my choice is going to be the French dip sandwich. My side is going to be, uh, I'm going to go with the rice and beaners. <laughs> and uh, honey, what are you going to get? I'm going to do the buffalo chicken sandwich with sweet potato fries. Okay, pretty cool. Let's go to the dessert section now. Okay. I am a big fan of their yes. dessert, which I'm a big fan of, what is it? The salted caramel gooey butter cake. I'm gonna you to, love that. I'm going to have to go with two of those. Damn. It's going down, guys. We got a situation. It is cheat day. You guys are coming along for the ride. Another Eating Our Best Life with Mike and Lawrence. Let's get it. Honey! Yeah. The food is here! I got it. Alright guys, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do right now, and I'm sure you've guessed it, I'm about to pop this top right here. That's right, it's happening. Uh, I'm about to fill this diet soda because we're about to get into business right now. This is cheat day. It's serious when he opens the diet soda. Uh, I'm kind of a bit crabby today, to be honest. I don't He's know very crabby. Okay. I can't wait for him to have his first sip yeah. and his first bite because then he will be less hangry. <laughs> I've been dieting all week, and maybe that's what it is, but I'm very excited. It's cheat day, you guys are here. It is eating our best life. I said beast, it's best life. Anyways, honey, I think we should just pop these tops, honey. All right, so we're going casual today. This is a nice family style takeout of Hula Hands. And we went appetizer crazy, which is what we love to do when we dine at Hula Hands. 
So this is eating our best life takeout edition. Exactly. Oh my God, this is my favorite one. I can't get that one open. Okay. Oh my goodness. French fries. Chicken fries. Get all the sauces open too. Get all the sauces. Oh my god, what's it all stickers? All the sauce is open. Wow, I haven't had a sweet potato fry in I don't know how long. Honey, you forgot the the marinaris. Oh. Marinaris. Then we need to do the Cheesy labouchers. All right, honey. I'm thinking. What do you want to start with? Well, I'm thinking that right off the bat, I mean, you would immediately go for a chipper. I mean, that's just the first and foremost. That's like chips rule and dip. One. You do a chip and a dipper. In this case, in Hula Hanners, we have chips, Tostito chips, and we have uh, spinach dippers. Okay, I'm very excited about this. And since you want to do a second appetizer, I'm going to give you the owners to go in for what app we should go in for the second one. Well, I think we should do the cheesy lavouche because it's also another dip appetizer. Okay. And then we could put, compare which is okay. better. Okay, and then we'll move forward? Okay, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with a toastiter because... Well, well, how about this? I'm gonna give you a mushroomer as well. Give me a mushroomer. So we could start with the chipper. You want two mushrooms? Yeah, give me two mushrooms. Two shroomers. Two shroomers. I'm gonna go with one. You want a little shroom sauce? Put some shroom sauce on top of it. Some shroom sauce there. Okay. 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 Oop. So, um, anyway, guys, let's get to business. Uh, so this is this cheesy lavouche. It's what I call it. That's what it says on the menu. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's cheesy lavouche with their spinach. What is that? Does it look like a pita chip? It's almost like a... It's like a matzah. It's like a matzah almost. Now that I look at it, I never noticed that. Yeah. With che melted cheese, tomatoes, little fresh herbs. I'm going to go with the standard tortilla okay. chip here with my spinach chip. You ready? Love you. All right. I can see my mood changing already. My mood is changing already. Mine too. Woo. It's amazing what a good cheat day will do for you. It's our household and it's just us, so we are double dipping here. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, clear the palate with some Dodd sodas because I'm feeling real creative today. Ooh. This is one of the items that I live for, for Hula Hands delivery. Sometimes if I'm like having a bad week or not feeling great, he knows I'll just hit the cheesy Lelouch button on DoorDash and like that's all I'll order and I'll just go ham on this. Wow. Because there's nothing like bread, cheese, spinach dip. It's like happiness in your mouth. The chippers are pretty good. I'll try a chipper with it. Chippers are good. It's the same dip, just with the tortilla yeah. chip. I can stick with the chips for... Because that gives you a nice crunch. This for is, a little bit. This one isn't crunchy. This is delicious. Well, because we're doing Eating Our Best Life, and I have to give a review, and probably we're going to do scores at the end of this, I'm going to taste this matzo looking like um, cheesy lavouche appetizer from Let me know how it is. I'm gonna go with, should I go dip first? Dip first? Oh yeah, I only dip it. You don't eat it on its own. It was pretty good. It's like a flatbread, practically. It is like a flatbread, it is. I don't eat bread, like, hey. seven days a week, usually. No, we don't. This is not bad. But, but this is a crunch, so I know you like the crunch. But again, we try to stay away from gluten or any type of bread products. And uh, on cheat day, we pretty much eat our best life or live our best life. Hence yeah. That's why we're doing this show. So, enjoy. The appetizer galore that we went in for is like a dream to us because we don't do fried food normally, we don't do like breaded items. Yep. So, this is like the perfect storm. And when you have that like out of your diet for so long, it's even hard to eat it, a lot of it sometimes. So we'll do our best, right? <coughs> mm, you're doing a I'm going into uncharted territories right now as I went for a shroomer. It's happening. Wow. The shroom taste test. It does, and it's pretty good. I like shroom. 
The shrooms good. I like the, this uh, is a stuffed mushroom. I like the horseradish dipping. Me too. Sauce. I love anything horseradish. If it says horseradish on it on the menu, I'm gonna order it. We actually have horseradish cream cheese in our refrigerator. Mm -hmm. FYI. Mm -hmm. Before you all ask me in the comments where I got it, I have to think. Okay. Whoa. That's called cat like reflexes. <laughs> Okay, so Whole Foods is where you get the horseradish cream cheese spread. It is cheddar horseradish. It is delicious. I put it on like my GG Fiber crisps, which are like my fake bread when I'm being healthy. He puts it on regular bread or like toast or whatever. Um, it's really good on like a sandwich bun. And then you can also get horseradish hummus, which you guys always ask me where that's from. That is from Trader Joe's. So shout out to my horseradish fans. Get the shrooms at Whole Hands. Um, I, I've enjoyed the shrooms and their horseradish dipping sauce. Um, but we're gonna have to move on to the next appetizer. I think we should go with chicken fingers, calamaris, and what's it else like, some of the fried things. It's all fried. Maybe so. I'm gonna keep the uh, chipper stuff. So next up, we're going into part two of the appetizer galore. So we have chicken fingers with french fries mm -hmm. and a honey mustard dipping sauce, mm -hmm. fried calamad with a marinara, and my childhood favorite, mozzarella sticks. The mozzarella stick. All right, honey, I'm going straight for a chicken finger right now. I'm gonna go. I love chicken fingers. I'm, I'm gonna so hand, gonna you gotta do a hand with a mozzarella stick. You don't really gotta do a fork with that. And I'm gonna dip right into the honey mustards, and we're gonna test this out here. I'm a chicken finger connoisseur. You so. are. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Quality. I don't know if you saw that, but there is zero cheese pull. Uh oh. That's a big no no. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Pick um, that up. All right, you throw it and then you tell me to pick it up. Okay. Um, all right, it's okay. There was no cheese pull in there. Maybe if I microwave it. Okay. It was okay. All right. It wasn't like. I, I mean, it, so you it was warranted a throw. <laughs> it it was, was warranted a throw. Warranted throw. Because to me, a mozzarella stick, like I would get that as a side or as my meal as a kid when you're at like a really good Italian pizza place, like a hole in the wall, random small Italian joint. And Hands is just not that. So maybe that item is just not made for Hands. Okay, well. I will try a chicken finger that you, you approved. I did, I approved it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna cut this. Try the french fries as well. How's the honey mustard? It's good, don't throw it. Mmm. Mmm. The french fries are pretty good too. Chicken finger is good. Actually, the fries. No. They're not that good, but they're not bad. Which you will see at the end when we score it. Mm. Alright, guys. Chicken yeah. finger is pretty quality. The chicken finger is pretty good though. Um, the fry, I'm, I'm not so impressed with it, but we'll see. I'm gonna go in for the calamaris here with the marinara sauce, which I have high hopes for, but we'll see. So no for me, dog. Really? No for me. I it's, mean, it's hard to fuck this one up, but. Well, what do you mean? We'll see. I, I mean. We've been to some fine, fine dining Italian places, so. I'm not a fried calamari person. I'm just, to me, it doesn't need to be fried. It's not a fishy fish. It's really good sauteed. Mm. The chicken fingers were good though. That's a big no-no. And just because this is a review show, we will be testing the, the mozzarella stick here. The, the one That's that my was, rejected The one that was thrown. We're going to try the one that was thrown. We'll see how it is. Yeah. Tastes like a 
You know the polio cheese that you put it's in the just refrigerator? It's a hard polio string yeah. cheese. Yeah. yeah. Mosey wants it. I can't get Mosey, I'm sorry. You're Mosey. too sensitive. All right, honey, it's over. That's it. All right, I missed. Put it in the, put it in the bucket. <laughs> we both missed. All right, put it in the bucket. <laughs> okay. Um, I was not... I'll... I'm gonna stay with the chippers here. Yeah, let's let's stay do a chip to cleanse the palate yeah. and before the next appetizer, because mm. we were really flying high when we started with the chips and dip, uh -huh. cheesy lavouche, yeah. and the mushroom. I even grabbed another mushroom because it was that delish. But this course, the only thing winning in this course was the chicken finger. The fries weren't that good either, and I'm I'm a big fry connoisseur, you know. Next course, guys. We have the wings and things appetizer. This is the wings and it's things. It's not. It's not. It's called wings and things. It's not wings and things. It's called wings and things on that. Really? Yeah, but we didn't pick that one. No. <laughs> this is this is the chili and Thai. Oh, bangers. this is the Thai. <laughs> okay. Is this is the Thai chili wangers that yes. my hubby picked. Uh -huh. And then I picked the buffalo chicken sandwich with sweet potato fries. And my hubby got the French dip sandwich. French dipper. With some fresh au jus. Um, did you mention the rice and bainers? Oh, I didn't realize that was rice and beans. I almost thought that was sauteed mushrooms. Rice and bainers. Rice and bainers. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get my sandwich ready. So I'm not a fan of all these things on my sandwich. All right, it's happening. All right, honey. Um, get to your sandwich. You have the buffalo chicken sandwich yeah. with the sweet potato fries. I have a French dipper here um, with the au jus and some rice and bainers, like that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna dip it in the au jus here. We're gonna see. I'm gonna put some of this sauce on it. And it's not bad. It's not bad. So it's not good. I mean, it's actually meaning it's pretty good. Um, the bread is pretty good. I didn't expect that from Hula Hanners. Listen, guys, I like enjoy carbs, like enjoy them. I just, they're not good for me and they don't make me feel good. So I don't eat them often. But when I enjoy a good carb, when I enjoy a good carb, it's worth it. This, to me, is not worth it. You're the one that ordered it. I know, because I've had it before and I thought it was good, but taste it. That's not my choice. For the sake of eating our best life, wow. and the subscribers, All right. please try it. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try a sweet potato. The buffalo chicken sandwich. BDS is in the building. It's actually not bad. Not bad is not good though. The bun is, is, is nice and soft. Seems like a buttery brioche. -er. And um, the chicken. Sweet potato fries are not bad. Actually, I actually think it's not bad. Meaning? Consistently not bad. No. Right? It's better than a lot of the places we've been. Well, we did Fast Food Nation tour for the first series. Very true. Season. Very true. This should be better than fast food. Okay, but the, the sweet potato fries are soggy. And that's they a, are soggy. It's a no for me, dog. All right. I'm going for the rice and beaners right Sorry. now. Sorry. This is a no for me, guys. The rice and beaners are not bad. They're pretty good. Um, how about we do the Thai chili wings? The Thai chili wangers. Okay, let's try the Thai. Listen, you, when all in doubt, do a toastator chip into the sp <laughs> into into some spinach dip. You'll be good. <laughs> Food in your face. Mm. Was good. It's not bad. <laughs> exactly. Well, it seems that the word of the day <laughs> for hula hanners is not bad. It's not bad. But it's not good. <laughs> so, what do we say to that? I'm not, I don't know. I feel like I'm trying the Thai chili wangers right now, and uh, here it, we go. It sounds like a Jerry Seinfeld skit. It does. Well, like I said, it's not bad, but it's not good. Yeah. But. But when it's not good, 
like you're not going back there again soon until you forget that it wasn't good. Yeah. And then you get it again and you're like, it's not bad. I'll yeah, eat it. Exactly. Well, it happens with a lot of places. Well, um, I'm going to go back to my rice and beaners, which were not bad. <laughs> right here. All right. I think, I think I have to finish with the chip. Well, I don't, I don't know if you realize, but I, I have a secret weapon that is in the refrigerator right now, ready to be unleashed on everyone right now that I know is going to be good because I've had it before. And it's one of my favorite desserts. Really? At Hula Hanners. You don't order it often enough for it to be a favorite. It definitely is a favorite. I'm letting you know that during quarantine, it was one of my favorite desserts that I ordered during the three months that we were locked down. I ordered the, I think it's the, I don't know if it's a white brownie or a blondie or what's the name of it, honey? A gooey, a gooey butter cake? The gooey butter cake, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I will decide if it's not bad. Well, we're good. When in doubt, go back to the toast eater here and some spinach dip. Toast eater chip is solid. Mm -hmm. Can't fuck that up. Um, I think it comes out of the bag. <laughs> I'm going to try one more time because this is cheat day and I'm starving for the French dipper here. Um, I'm going to try no sauce first or no au jus. Which, again, not bad. So that seems to be the theme of the day. <laughs> not bad, but it's not good enough for me. Anyway, I'm gonna, have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to clear my palate here. All right. So are we ready to move on to dessert? Dessert? Yeah. Okay. Save these uh, toast eaters. Really? I, yeah. It's like it's like your security blanket right now. These I know. Chips. Well, I keep them on the counter because okay. I'm probably gonna eat them when we're done, guys. Okay. Um, it is time for dessert. It is time for us to give a score of our best dishes and what we would recommend at the old Hooli Hands. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go first because I'm easy and my wife is, is a little bit tougher than most. And um, I know this dessert right here is gonna be really good. So if I was to come back to Hula Hanners, I would get the chicken fingers. Um, I don't even know if I get the french fries. I'll be honest, the french fries weren't that good. Um, well, I guess they'd say they were not bad. <laughs> that is the word of the day, not bad. And I'd also get the chips and the um, spinach, spinach dip. dip. Yeah. And I'm thinking that my score is gonna be a- Well, you didn't taste the dessert yet. Fine. All right. I love the dessert, okay? What is the name of the dessert, honey? What is the name of dessert? Do we know? It's something something gooey butter cake. It's the it, yeah. It is the it is the gooey butter cake. It vanilla is, gooey butter cake. Yeah. With vanilla ice cream. Exactly. It's really delicious. It's one of my favorite. We've been ordering this throughout quarantine, and it's one of my favorites. Now back to the score. I'm going with a big six point one for Hula Hanners. Um, and if I would go back to, again, I would order just the chicken fingers and probably the toast eater chips with the spinach dip and this dessert, which is the white gooey butter cake. White chocolate gooey and, butter uh, cake. And I feel that I am also being generous here. Um, Hula Hands is- very generous. Hula Hands is not paying me just yet, and they may not ever, but- No, they won't. Um, not anyways, after this. Back to Mrs. Situation mm -hmm. and her scores. Okay, so this dessert is really not good. bad. What do you mean not bad? It's good. <laughs> I'm not a fan of white chocolate. I this, don't even know if it has white chocolate in it. This is not even like white chocolate in it. It's just really sweet. You know how white chocolate is like, the only reason why it's white is because they put so much more sugar in it and regular milk chocolate is just dark chocolate with tons of sugar in it. So I'm a dark chocolate fan. So milk chocolate and white chocolate are too sugary for me. So this is not bad. I keep eating it because it's not bad, but it's a really, really sweet. Like you have to like really love sweet desserts for it. I love sweet desserts. Yeah. So <laughs> I can't like eat this whole thing. It's so too what sweet. you're saying is it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Consistently not bad. So I'm scared to share my score because Hula Hands is, I feel like it's Trashy. like an American staple. And it's a childhood favorite of yours. It is a childhood, childhood favorite, favorite of mine. So we gotta but, put that out there. But what I used to get 
when I was like a teenager was like, like the chop chop salad. Like I would get a chicken salad and the spinach dip. Like I really didn't go crazy like we did today. So today I got the whole array of the like special appetizer menu and all that good stuff. So I have to say, after today's experience. Don't let your former self down. Don't let your former self down. All right, they're getting a 5.0. Okay. 5.0. That's what I'm talking about. They were gonna get like a 4.5, oh a 4.8. Oh my goodness. Because it was that kind of level for me. But you thought of your former self. Fine. So you got a solid five. I would go back for the cheesy lavouche. And I would probably one, get. Because that's one of your favorites since childhood. It's one of my favorites. Like I still will order that on its own and it by back, itself. And it brings back the nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. We yeah, all, cheesy lavouche. And to Hulahan's credit, it's one of my wife's favorites. It really is. We order hula hands every now and then. She's like, oh my God, I'll do hula hands. Am I right? Yes, but I just get the cheesy lavouche. But because <laughs> this is YouTube and because this is also a review show with scores, we got to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. We got to tell you. We got to tell you how it is. All right. You just got a 6.1 and a 5. Stop. No, but the, the final score is the average. We got a 5.55 in the building for hula handers. And like I said, again, to Hula Hands credit, we do order from them um, every now and again. And it's Listen, one of my it's one of my wife's favorite restaurants. We just have to be honest here. That's what eating our best life is. Yeah. I apologize if I and upset we, any Hula Hands and, banners. And but we, and we chose Hula Hands as a cheat day. So that's that's Yes. Something. We picked it as our second takeout episode. Granted we did every fast food restaurant out there. You know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching Eating Our Best Life, another episode where we pretty much order almost everything on the menu. We are down to some of the finest restaurants in America, as well as some of the chains. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mike. And I'm Lauren. See you guys next time. We got a situation. Share, like, and subscribe.